Hello students, my name is Professor Bruce Wayne and today we are going to go a little bit more in depth on the muscular system. In my last lesson we went over the three types of muscle, cardiac, skeletal, and smooth. However today we are going to be focusing primarily on skeletal muscle and its structure. Muscles are made up of fibers. Muscle fibers as you see here are single multinucleated cells which are covered in connective tissue to cover and support the muscles. Muscle fibers themselves consist of thread-like structures called myofibril. Myofibril is made up of two proteins called myosin and actin. Today's topic, skeletal muscle, is striated. The other type of striated muscle in the human body is cardiac muscle. Muscles are attached to bones by tendons. Muscles attached to stationary bone is called the origin, while muscles attached to moving bone is called the insertion. Since skeletal muscles are arranged in pairs, one of the muscles in the pair must be relaxing while the other is contracting in order to move a limb. Now let's get to the real question. How does a muscle contract? You see, the answer is quite interesting. Something in the muscle called the sarcomere is what actually contracts. Those two proteins we mentioned earlier, myosin and actin, help shorten the sarcomere and in turn contract the muscle. There is no in between when it comes to muscle contraction. A muscle is either contracted or relaxed. This is very similar to justice. You can't protect a city half-heartedly. I, I mean, Wayne Enterprise, this is, look, look over there. What's that, you ask? How do muscles move our limbs and other extremities? Well, muscles come in pairs, a flexor and an extensor. A flexor is something like a bicep or a hamstring that bend the muscle, while an extensor is something like a tricep or a quadricep that extend the muscle. Here are some examples of flexors and extensors. Here we see the tricep as an extensor as it straightens out the arm. Here we see the quadricep as an extensor as it straightens out the leg. Here we see the bicep as a flexor when it bends the arm. Here we see the hamstring as a flexor as it bends the leg. Well, it seems like that is the end of my lesson for today. It was very nice teaching you about the muscular system, but my study needs me. on the muscular system. Yeah, everything's good. Hello students, my name is Professor Bruce Wayne and um <laughs>